Okay, coming to you from my spare bedroom. It is really cluttered back there, but that's who I am as, as a person, and this is a weekly vlog clip. So, uh, yeah, this is me in real life. Okay, so it is Monday. I had the weekend off, which is semi-rare in my profession at the moment. If you've watched any of my other videos, I'm in retail, and yeah, so I worked the past two weekends, and then I got this recent weekend off, and then I think I work the next two weekends. Who knows what's going on? I can't keep it straight, but... I close at work for the next three days in a row and then I open um, on the fourth day so that's fun but yeah I am a night owl I don't do well when I'm not scheduled or structured I just struggle I struggle a lot before I got my promotion at work I was doing less closing shifts and I'm gonna be doing more closing shifts so I have to somehow figure out how to live my life like that which is gonna be a transition period for me so if my videos and my Twitter and my Instagram are like all haywire it's probably because I'm trying to figure out how to live my life bear with me so like I was saying today is Monday over the weekend I bought the complete series of Avatar the Last Airbender I have watched like nine tenths of the series I just haven't seen the very very end or if I did I don't remember it. I was gonna get a bunch of reading done this weekend and then I bought this and that idea slash plan like went down the drain real quick and so I finished book one really fast. I think I bought I bought this Saturday so I finished the 20-ish episodes of book one. Last night I finished disc two of book two. So I just remet Toph and I forgot how much I absolutely loved her character. I also forgot how much I start to fall in love with Zuko so that's really fun. I feel like my reading vlogs are very unreading but hey I got some reading done last night. So I started Paperweight by Meg Hastin. Hatsa? Aston. And this is about a 17 year old girl that is actually sent to a rehab facility for eating disorders. There was death in her family. She's struggling with her eating disorder and it follows her life going into this facility and kind of what led up to it. I am not very far. I'm on page 33. This is the book for the Green Ribbon Book Club that I joined. I will link the book club link for Goodreads and the Twitter account for this book club down below. The book club is dedicated to reading literature for mental illness and awareness and then kind of discussing it. I struggle with some of my own mental illnesses so I thought this would be a really good book club for me to join and of give myself an excuse to start reading books with that as the main focus and yeah so I'm really enjoying this it's not my usual literature that I enjoy reading it's different but I've been wanting to branch out for quite a while now so it's a shortish book but yeah so here it is so yeah and then I made a pretty good dent on Ready Player One by Ernest Klein I don't know why it's taking me so long to get through this book I don't know if it's because the text is really small or smaller than usual but I am absolutely loving this book. I read it last night until I was almost like falling asleep. I could barely keep my eyes open. I am on page 327 and there's only 374 pages in the book. So I have about 50-ish pages left and I hope to finish this today or tonight. So I need to finish this book because I'm currently in the middle of seven books and I need to I need to get some of these off the list. So I'm gonna finish this today, hopefully I wanna make myself. And then this has to be done by the end of the month. For the rest of the month, I wanna just focus on the books I'm currently reading. So the seven books I'm in the middle of and start September uh, with a clean slate. So I don't wanna start any more books. 
Usually when I'm in multiple books like this, I focus on two at a time. So these are the two I'm focusing on now. After I finish Ready Player One, my focuses will become Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I am currently on page 22. And since the movie is coming out slash is out, coming out, I don't know. I want to finish this and then Netflix is coming out to the movie adaption to All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I am on page 21, so I'm only on page 20-ish for both of these books. So I, those are will become my next two focuses after I finish Ready Player One. So I need to eat something. I need to edit a little bit. This is going to be something a little different for me. I want to start doing reading vlogs every week. It's something that just kind of keeps me focused. I feel like it keeps me connected with you guys. So this is the first snippet of this reading vlog. I feel like it's really long and I apologize. And I'm wondering how long this reading vlog this week is actually going to be because some reason I'm really talkative. <laughs> really unmotivated to edit videos lately ever since I bought Avatar The Last Airbender the complete series that's all I've wanted to do but what what last night I finally finished my book to movie adaption for the book tubeathon ready player one by Ernest Klein it was amazing amazing when I was updating the Goodreads I found out or read that Ernest Klein is writing a sequel to this book and I don't know if that's necessary. I don't usually like standalones but this was such a spectacular standalone I, I have mixed feelings. So yes my review for this is coming soon and it will be in my August wrap up video so stay tuned. And then for the Green Ribbon Book Club, I read a little bit more of Paperweight and I got to page 57. This is a book that is completely out of my genre, but it's reminding me of a movie I watched with Lily Collins in it. It's on Netflix, but the name is escaping me right now. But yes, it's like, I don't know, maybe they got their inspiration from this book. I'm not quite sure. It's definitely different. It has to do with depression and eating disorders and stuff like that so it is a lot different from what I'm used to but it's nice to kind of dive into other genres since I've really been wanting to do that. I am almost done with book two of Avatar so I think I have like two episodes left and then I'm on to book three which is Fire which is the one I remember the least so I'm really excited. I finished Ready Player One and then I read about 25 pages of Paperweight and then I went to bed. I wanted to wake up early this morning but that just didn't happen so yeah. I'm also not wearing any eyeshadow today. I feel kind of weird because I usually wear really vibrant eyeshadow so I'm also not wearing any mascara because I'm thinking about tonight when I had to wash it all off in this is just going to be less work. So yeah, I'm already anticipating being lazy at 9.30 tonight. So yeah. I'm going to go catch up on some YouTube comments that I've been kind of falling behind on. I guess I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow morning whenever I wake up. If I wake up on time this time because I'm trying to be more motivated and it's just really hard. Okay, so I look like a bum for the third day in a row. I'm not done any of this. I'm on my work. I'm on my work. I'm on my way to work. Today is Thursday. I did not vlog the last two days, though I did read yesterday. I got to page 101 of Crazy Rich Asians. I just really want to see the movie, so I'm trying to get a roll on the movie, so on the book. I suck today at talking. My work schedule has been a little hectic, and I've been working like three nights in a row closing our store and then on the fourth day I'm opening the store that's today so I'm in the retail business I'm what we call clopening today so I closed the store yesterday and I'm opening it this morning so yes it sucks and I'm tired and exhausted but there's a lot to do today at work so 
here I go. I'm off tomorrow, so I'm gonna sleep in and get some binge reading done and some cleaning, hopefully, and I will probably be finishing Avatar The Last Airbender this weekend sometime. It's kind of my plan. And even though I'm not active on YouTube this week, I am active on Twitter, like, almost every day, at least talking to my bookish friends. If you ever want to reach out to me, you can find me there. So I hope you guys all have a good Thursday. It's my Friday, though I only have one day off. So I have tomorrow, which is Friday, the real Friday off. But then I work the weekend, so I will probably vlog a little bit tomorrow. And that's about it. So I'll check in with you later. Bye. So I just got up for work and my boyfriend's already... First. My boyfriend is already home and he didn't have to work today because he doesn't work retail. He works in a corporate office. I just went to TJ Maxx and bought socks. So yeah, I needed new socks. So I got new socks and yeah. So last night I got to page 119 of Crazy Rich Asians. Day on my lunch and break at work, I got to page 92 of Paperweight. Yesterday I also watched to all the boys I've loved before and on Netflix and it was fantastic. I loved it and I'm on page like 23 of the book and I'm really excited to finish the book so I'll probably finish Crazy Rich Asians and Paperweight first and then focus on to all the boys I've loved before and yeah see where I'm going then and yeah i don't really have much else to report to you guys so yeah, i'm on my way home it's saturday night and if you guys like my vlogging like weekly vlog this is only my second time since i did the weekly vlog for booktubeathon um please let me know i would love to get your guys's opinions about my vlogs whether or not it's just getting kind of doing my vlogs differently or like setting them up differently or if it's just something that might be a waste of my time. Like, I really would appreciate constructive criticism and what you guys actually think of them. Yeah, but like, be nice when you're criticizing because I get really self-conscious, so yeah. Let me know if you, what you guys think of my weekly vlog so I can kind of plan my weeks and stuff accordingly because I also want to get a schedule down. I'm thinking about uploading videos every Tuesday and Thursday but if I do my weekly vlogs I want to upload those on Sunday so maybe like Sunday and Tuesday I'm not really sure but I want to get a schedule down so I want to know what you guys think and like stuff like that what you guys maybe what works with you guys what you think might work for me and yeah so I would appreciate any help from all of you booktube loving peeps so Yes. So I guess I'll check in with you guys next week, maybe, sort of. I don't know. I guess I'll see what you guys think of this vlog. And I guess we'll go from there. I'm gonna finish my drive home and uh, call it a week. So bye.